Morning guys, morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, yeah, today is going to be a bit different. Uh, Lewis is going to be skimming this wall out for the first time. He's never had a go at plastering before. Um, we're going to be doing a, an apprentice series is what we're, we're planning on doing. Um, Lewis and Kian are both bricklaying apprentices, but on this company you have to get involved in basically everything, all aspects of the construction industry. Uh, so yeah, so if you haven't already subscribed, uh, press the link in the corner and if you turn the notifications on, you'll get a message every time I upload a video. But yeah, thanks for watching and we'll get stuck in. Right, this is literally the first time Lou has ever had trowel in your hand, isn't it, mate? Yeah. I'd say. So, Sean has done a lot more plastering than, three than, walls than I have. Three walls in his life, that's more than I've ever done. Um, so, it's better, obviously, for Sean to, to show him. If you try and copy the technique, so you're just not too much. Yeah, see. So Don't worry about it, drops, we all, we all do it. Just try and minimise them as much as you can. So, try and get it like that so it doesn't really fall off your own um, That's good. Right. Get it flat like that. Yeah. Hold it flat to the wall and then just lift it up. Good. There you go, mate. It's all about practice, isn't it, for these things. Like you say, you don't, you don't jump on a trowel and... Everybody's got their own technique. Yeah. This is just how I do it, so. I mean, I, I do it different to you, Sean, slightly. It's a slightly different variation, but the principle's always the same. Get it on the wall. Get it on the wall, yeah. First coat, smash her on. Yeah, obviously don't try and get too much in place. Yeah, because on your... trying to get it on your trowels and hard to get to. It's all about just. That's it. Well done, Luke. Hold it flat, and then just. That's it. Yeah, you've done it. And then you've so, got. So you just try and flatten that off a little bit. Yeah. Where you got that belly, look. Yeah. That's it. Nice. That's it. Well done, mate. Like I say, he's trying to keep like a bit of a, an even-ish coat. I mean, it doesn't have to, all the tram lines and all that, you don't worry about that at this stage. It's more about the thickness, making sure you've got plenty on. When you've got beads, you always try and go with the beads, so always go to the beads. So you use the bead as a guide. Like I say, every day's a school day, isn't it, Sean? To be fair. Of course. Thing is, it's like me, like I've been plastering for quite a few years to be fair, but I don't claim to be a plasterer of any sort. Um, obviously the lads who are doing this day in, day out are so much faster than, than, than me by miles, but it's like I, I learn from doing and every time I do something it's just slightly different techniques, uh, different methods. You know, like Sean was saying that everyone does things slightly differently. So we're going to call this wall. So he's going to got, got to go over there. We've we've chose this one because he's got beads to work to. Um, there's no sockets or anything on there because they can be a bit of a pain in the backside to do, like like that one over there that we've we've done this morning because there's so much stuff going on there, it'd be really unfair for Lewis to go, right, just get, get stuck onto that. Um, so we're gonna, what I'll do is I'll set you up on time lapse, so I'll keep you focused on Lewis, uh, and then, like I say, I'll jump on the, the hawk and trowel and stuff. Or well, in fact, I don't even know whether I've got this fair one now, so I'll just give, uh, give him a hand while we're doing this. But yeah, he's doing well. Thank you. 
Right, well, that's Lewis doing on that yeah. first coat, and he's done a really good job, to be fair. I mean, I mean, it shocked us all, average job. I mean, come on, could have done better. Oh yeah, 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 he just took his jumper off, yeah, didn't spill a, a drop. I mean, none of this was me, he just chucked this down there for fun. Um, he's completely spotless, isn't he? He's got his jumper. Yeah, it, we, hold on. We're just going to get his jumper. He loves it, doesn't he? He does. Look at that, look. Look, we've got it. But we've all been there, let's face it, yeah, yeah, he was just wiping his hands. That was the stuff that you dropped, Sean. Um, no, he's done a really good job, so, um, what... Because obviously with speed sort of thing, Sean's just jumped in on, on this side, just over the head and uh, and this side here. But but no, overall, really good. So it's now a case of, because we've got a few other walls on that obviously us lot have all gone on to. Um, so it's now a case of cleaning this up. Well, Sean looks like he's on for something else now. Where are you going with that? Throw the second on a few reveals. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so it's a case of just letting that go off a little bit uh, and then Lewis has got the whole process again uh, to get cracking and get the second coat on. But how do you think that went, Lou? Alright, yeah. Easy. Yeah? Enjoy it? Easier? Harder? Once you get the techniques from yeah, then it's... It. Practice, isn't it? Yeah. That's the thing, mate. It is practice, definitely. You just know so, how much to put on. Yeah, and that's it. And the thing is, if you got if the mix is really, really wet, like, if that is really wet, Steve likes it wetter than what we do. Um, he likes it like, it, it wet when you know. It's stiff. It's stiff. Yeah, oh, what's your review? What's wet. your view on it? You prefer it wetter? Whack it on. Oh, you're such, you're such a brown nose with Steve now. No, he don't prefer, oh, he, doesn't, he prefers the Celotex. Oh, friends, real friends. Real friends. <laughs> yeah. Mate, I don't know what's going on. New bromance going on, isn't it? Um, but yeah, so we've done really well. Um, so we'll, we'll let that go off a little bit and then get the second coat on. Right, Lewis is going to get on with the second coat now. Um, he's basically, like, so on the hawk, he's, Fjord's good tip to have is smear a little bit on there first before you get your, your big load on and it helps it stay on the board a lot easier. So he's going to get cracking on there. Kian's been doing all the mixing down here. Living the dream, ain't you, Kian? Um, so yeah, so we're going to get, get you set up on time lapse and we'll get cracking. the second coat on over there Sean's just going over it we just need a little mini mix going on uh, so we've got all the other walls on but how do you think that went Lou? Um, oh. Better than the first coat? Uh, I think the first coat's a bit easier. First coat's a bit easier. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Confident to say that you're a fully qualified classroom right now? No. No? Yeah. Confidence is key, isn't it, Sean? Sure. Confidence is key. But no, he's done a really good job. Um, I mean, mediocre, you know, don't want to praise him too much. What do you reckon, Sean? Room for improvement? Yeah. What do you think? Room for improvement? I think, it's, I think there's a little bit of room for improvement. For instance, all this down here, it's slipping. Oh, no, we, yeah. it's slipping. We've got the new ice rink going on, or pink rink. About three, about three bags down there. Yeah, probably about three bags. What's his, his excuse, Luke? No, he has. He has. Considering, I remember my my uh, first go at plastering. Um, that was shocking. I, I, made, I was telling the lads earlier on when I did some work. Um, he was a professional plasterer, and he did it for me, um, and. I tried to put it on the ceiling and I got covered from head to toe, which he found very amusing. It was uh, covered in, but all good stuff, innit? 
But yeah, so I'll see, let him crack on with that and then we'll catch up with you once it's all uh, ready for a final trial. Right, Lewis has got that second coat on now uh, and he's gone over it with the uh, Superflex trowel. Um, so we're just saying the more you, you, you more the mess with it, it's going to get worse and worse. So we're just saying, where was Shawnee, how long to leave it before you get to your next, you know, your next trowel over. And we've said to the boys, it's roughly the same amount of time it takes to make a cup of tea and drink it is roughly the length of time it is before you can start messing about with that again and going over it again. So this is why tea is essential for your toolbox, isn't it, Shawnee? 100%. We are 100% into Yorkshire tea. That is the way forward, so endorsements are welcomed. So that is what Kean is off to do now. He's going to get the kettle on. Lewis is just cleaning up and um, and then he'll jump back on, but uh, yeah. Overall, don't like him to know too much, but he has done a very good job, so I'm very impressed with, considering literally, and no word of a lie, he never picked a trowel up until you've seen today. So, very, very impressed, but keep a secret. Right, that's the uh, end of Lewis's wall. He's just literally just, end of, that's his wall, end of his wall, that's it, done. Now he's just going over the corners now with a brush, as you can see, he's just giving it the final flick over. Um, I just think that's gone, Lewis. Well, Enjoyed it? Yeah, the easiest bit is doing it now. Yeah, it's doing that bit now, isn't it? Now, that's how you, you've done a really good job, mate, to be fair. Let's say it's, uh, so that's it now, it's down to you. If you can carry on with the rest of the plastering for the, for the rest of the house. That's, uh, that'll be absolutely bang on. We can put our feet up now. You know, I think, I you... think this is the easy bit, So you got, you got all this to do, and then if you can get on that section of the roof, I'll leave that on the ceiling, sorry, that'll be beautiful. So what do you reckon you get that smashed out in a, what, 10, 15 minutes, something like that? We'll come in Saturday and we'll just rip through on that. Yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? Why not? No, you've done a really good job, Luke, to be fair. So, uh, yeah, it's... Um, yeah, like I say, it's practice makes perfect, doesn't yeah. it, mate? That's the thing. It's so the next wall you'll do, we'll we'll get some uh, sockets and stuff like that on in there for you, so you can work around those because they're the tricky bits. It's like when you're working around stuff like this, you see, yeah. it, it's difficult doing that. But no, overall, really impressed. That's really good going. So well done, Lou. Right, I just thought I'd come out to the van because then when Lewis watches this, he'll he'll see this himself. But it is really important, I find, that is giving the apprentices the time to have a go. I mean, it's they're not just cheap labour, let's face it, they're here to learn. And we try and have the lads with us. Um, we, we want them here long term. So it is very important to give people a chance. You know, it's not for cleaning. Like I say, he's not going to know that I've had this conversation with you guys until he watches it himself. Um, but yeah... It is important. We get on with the lads really, really well, and that's another key factor: is that they want to learn. Both Lewis and Kean. So anyone who works with us, they, you know, it's it's important that they do want to actually do stuff and actually get be better at things. And they're very, very keen to keep keep going. Like we said, just said to Kean, "You're having a go on the next one, mate. You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna do some more." And he's like, "Yeah, yeah, that's fine." Like like I say, they are bricklaying apprentices but it's important they are will turn their hand to anything so like I said, i've had a conversation um uh before with tony from a and e construction in leamington uh which is if you oh yeah by the way if you haven't followed uh him on youtube his channel is fantastic he's he's very very smart slick uh building work that he does uh, and he's he's a really really nice guy and all the team are really really friendly so but having a conversation with him he stresses how important it is for now the, the apprentices to have a decent you know actual training you know because a lot of these colleges and stuff they don't really you know they come out they're qualified and they're not they ain't got a clue some of the, some of the lads because they've just basically they go to college one day a week and then their employers use them as basically cheap labor so they're, they're just cleaning up all day and just being dogs bodies and that's Let's face it, if you are coming into any construction industry, you're at the bottom of the totem pole, you will do cleaning. But here, 
you know i mean i'm the one of the directors of of the company and we all get stuck in cleaning so it's just important but like i say we are doing an apprentice series so i hope you've enjoyed this video you know we've enjoyed making it we've had a bit of a laugh and a banter uh, which is what it's all about and uh, like i say if you haven't subscribed please hit the subscribe button you know allows me to keep making these videos um and yeah enjoy your weekend and we'll catch you on the next one thanks for watching cheers